This is Philip Ray Jaramillo, a 32-year-old father of four whose negligence had his 10-year-old daughter on his door with a through her neck. What the f*** happened? Just, just keep praying, okay? It all started on August 20th, 2023, when the police received reports of a shooting at the Jaramillo household. Officers immediately rushed to the residence to find a gruesome scene, a 10-year-old named Catalina lying in a pool of her own What's going on? Where's he at? Where's she at? In the, where's, well, give me a closest way. What's the fastest way there? To the back? Where's she shot at? Okay. We're at right here? We're at. We're at. Where's she shot at? Can you guys get up here? I got it. I Shot in the neck. Got the gunshot wound here. I only touched her a little bit, but ran some uh, pulse check. She's already she was gone when I got here. Shot in the neck. Where's the gun? I don't know. I haven't seen none. That's what, I can't have nobody leaving. The paramedics took over and did whatever they could to resuscitate her. Meanwhile, the officers rounded up the rest of the Jaramillo family outside of the house to figure out what happened. What happened? I'm not sure. I was cleaning up. You were cleaning up? Yes. Yes, sir. Is there a farmer farm the house? There is. They should all be in the safe. I'm fairly cleaning. Philip eventually admitted to keeping guns in the house, claiming that he only took them out of the safe that morning to clean them. Somewhere along the line, he stepped out into the backyard to see a friend. That's when his teenage daughters ran out screaming that Catalina had been shot. When's the last time you guys saw her? She was asleep. Like, like I went and checked on her because I took a shower and that was it. She was just asleep. And what time was that? Like at uh, 12. Okay. But she was fine. Is that the last time you guys saw her? Yes. Okay. How long has it been? The last time she was checked on was at 12. Her older sisters narrated their own side of the horrid experience while barely keeping it together. And you guys, what happened? He, I just heard him, he was just laying down and then she, I just heard him start screaming Catalina was shot and I ran so fast and he like, process what was going on and I was sitting here like that. I could hear him in the voice, he was scared. He started crying when he saw me. That little boy. Catalina had been fast asleep in her parents' room when her 8-year-old brother and his 12-year-old friend came across the guns lying around. They began playing with them, and one of the guns accidentally went off, hitting Catalina. What the f*** happened? Uh, Are you okay? Babe. No! Sorry, you sorry. can't do this to me! That's that wife! No, what happened? <laughs> My child is gone! What the f happened? What 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 What happened? 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 When the question of who pulled the trigger resurfaced, Catalina's mother already had a suspect in mind. His mom just left him here, and he's been trouble. But I tried with him, and I tried, and I tried with this little boy. He's done a lot. Oh. Please tell me my daughter's going to be okay. She's she, not. She has a, a gunshot wound right here. Are you serious to her head? But kind of where her neck meets her head. They're working on her as of right now she has a pulse.
Finally, the paramedics were able to get a pulse from the little girl. All that remained was to keep her stable enough for transport. Until then, her family were forced to spend long, agonizing minutes waiting for any shred of good news. They're doing everything that they can to help her. There's a, yeah, this, it happens a lot, okay? So, uh, it happens to survive? Yes, some people have, okay? But uh, they're doing everything that they, they can to help her, okay? Just, just, just keep praying, okay? Is she okay though? She's, she's okay? Yeah, the pulse, she's a pulse right She's alive right now, buddy. Catalina passed away the very next day at the hospital. The police later recovered the gun that killed her, and some more guns Philip tried to hide. He was arrested and charged with negligently making a firearm accessible to a minor and tampering with evidence. He's looking at a prison sentence of up to 18 months and a fine of $10,000. This is Kathleen Davis, a 58-year-old grandmother who really wants to go to prison. I wanted to hit you. Okay. Sir. Hey, you sit down on the I car. Wanted to sit kill down on the car. Can you put me in jail for that? Hold on. Please. Just you wait. I wanted to we'll about it in one second. Listen, it's attempted murder. It all started earlier that evening on September 21st, 2017, when Palm Beach police received a 911 call from Michael Ciara, claiming his mother-in-law was trying to... Officers quickly arrived at the scene to find Kathleen in a Mercedes circling Michael's house and waiting for a clear shot so she could ram him. After boxing her car in, they immediately cuffed Kathleen before asking any questions. Stay right there for me. All right, sit with my partner right here. Um, is your ID in the car? Yeah. It's a South Carolina ID. It's in my pocket. I can go get it. Kathleen showed an unusual eagerness to confess her crimes to the officer. She revealed that the first thing she did when she arrived at Michael's residence was to throw eggs at his house. And when the commotion drew Michael out of his home, she got in her car and charged at him. I wanted to hit him. Okay. Sir. Hey, you sit down on I the car. I wanted to on the car. Can you put me in jail for that? Hold on. Please? Just you wait. Because I wanted to... We'll talk about it in one second. Listen, it's attempted murder. It is. It's attempted murder. Okay. It's attempted murder. Okay. It's attempted murder. Just relax. And, and I totally admit to it. Okay. Okay? He has a record of my alarm, by the way. Okay. He's a criminal in the state Well, of hey, but let's do something real quick, Get okay? Get here, peace. Did you hit this car on purpose? Been harassing you for how long now? How, is he, how does he harass you? What he threatens he, me. Threaten how? What does he threaten? He threaten me. He tells me that he's going to tell my daughter that we had a relationship. Okay. Okay. You know what yeah, that that's, that's, that's not nice. Mom? That's special. Daughter, yeah. That's going to mess up your relationship. You don't yeah, want that. Well, my daughter now doesn't want to have a relationship with me. And because he's making up lies. Well, he's not making up lies. I did. I oh. had a relationship with this guy. Okay. And okay. that kind of ruined your relationship with the daughter? Yeah. Okay. okay. So he told her that was but going he, on. But he, listen, darling, he only did it so we could Okay. You know, it wasn't anything like that. Oh, I see what you're saying. He used me so we could get to her. Okay. His father is in the mob. Okay. He's got a criminal record a mile long. I'm a past his wife. Hello. Okay. Ha <laughs> What's your and first name? I haven't caught your first name yet. My name is Kathleen. Nice to meet you. I'll shake your arm. Just have a seat for him. Just, and, um, just sit down. I'm going to find your ID so I know who you are, Kathleen. Okay. Kathleen lamented that Michael's accusations had completely ruined her relationship with her daughter and family, so she was out for revenge, even if it meant getting locked up in jail. You want to... Oh, yeah. Is that what your intention was here today? No. No. It was just throw eggs out. Throw eggs out. And if he ran in front of my car... Okay. Sit back down. Yes. All right. Would you write to my... Why'd you come over here tonight? To throw eggs at his house. Why? Because he deserves to die. All right. Okay. Okay. Hey, Gabe. That's my grandson. That's by fine. The way. Turn around. Let me just set this cup. You can make him hotter. I deserve it. You said hotter. You make him hotter. Harder. You can make him hotter. Listen, I'm telling you, I don't care what I did. There's nothing. I don't feel bad for what I did. This man has ruined my life, and he's ruined my children's life. He's a predator, and he has a record a mile long. I don't feel bad for what I did. 
Kathleen was arrested in front of her grandchild that night, and she was later charged with aggravated assault with a deadly weapon. She received three years of probation and was given an order to stay away from Michael, take an anger management course, and abstain from drugs and alcohol. Next, we head to a home in Bunnell, Florida. Officers received reports from concerned neighbors about the screams of children coming from a home in the neighborhood. When officers arrived, the sounds of a child crying for their mother led them straight to Gilbert and Christina's home. Now there's two kids in there. What's up, little buddy? Where's your mommy? Where's your mommy? You want something to drink? You want some more juice? Hi. The screaming child did not look so good either. From what the officers could see, he wore a soiled diaper that looked like it hadn't been changed in days. Then there was the mom, Christina, passed out with bottles of alcohol and drug paraphernalia lying around carelessly just moments before she answered the door. Yeah, are you the mother of these children here? They just, they've been screaming and crying. Right, well, he looks like he needs some juice or something. He's showing me his cup. Okay, well, we're getting complaints that they feel like there's uh, children in distress over here. Yeah, that's what kids do. It was clear that she didn't want the officers entering her home. However, even from outside the house, they could see that something was very wrong. Yeah. Uh, okay. When was the last time you even changed their diapers? As it's sagging there, probably full. They had a ton of juice, and it was probably an hour and a half ago that I changed their diapers. Does this seem to be a safe environment for your children? Yeah, it is completely safe. It's just, they're very, very loud and vocal. And since both of the windows are open. This is a safe environment, huh? His brother and his wife have been, we've been living with, have been living with, oh, we've been living with them. Uh -huh. They decided they were gonna move out and completely trash the whole entire place and leave it that way. And we've been dealing with it. All right. <laughs> Well, it looks like, I mean, by the the way it looks outside, it looks like, I mean, this took a while to build up this. Yeah. What's up, little buddy? Hi. Christina maintained that the house was still a safe environment for her kids, blaming other people for the incredible mess. When asked about the condition of the home and her kids, Christina told them she was trying her best. That's when the father of the children, Gilbert, returned from work. The reason we're here is the other children were locked in that other room. It's just the screen, duct tape in there. Neighbors heard him screaming. I mean, I know you have a child camera in there. Yeah, I could. Does that camera report? It does not. It only shows. Gilbert's defense against the terrible living conditions of his kids was a child camera he installed to watch them, and it wasn't even working. That was not enough to waive the looming child neglect charges and the possibility of losing custody. They recommended that all three children be promptly removed from their care and placed into the custody of a family member until their parents cleaned up their act. Gilbert Bridewell and Christina Coe were arrested and both charged with three counts of felony child neglect without great bodily harm. They are looking at up to five years in prison or five years of probation and a $5,000 fine. Click the video on 
screen and watch as I delve further into more cases.